Okay, we're adding our goat to this work, and um, we're gonna have to remember that our goat likes the green bananas and our monkey likes the yellow, and we're going to be adding that into our coding. So let's see what we've got. Oh, we've got a lot. So for B and bananas, we need we can see the comment. Whoop, anytime there's a comment, we know that means we need to um, fix something or they're giving us directions. The hashtag shows us their directions. So fix this condition so they're still helping us there that we want to remember to get the bear and the tiger. So I'll start with that. Um, to help with spacing, I don't worry about deleting the comments because the program ignores them. But I'm gonna put my cursor right after whatever was there because if I'm using these buttons, it'll take care of the spacing for me. So now I'll add in my and, um, tiger sleeping. All right, so we have a lot going on here. So this is all in a for loop, meaning for all the bananas. So you have to remember we're using for B in bananas. We have until they're sleeping, we're gonna wait. And then now we have our if else statement, which is, you can see our until and our if else are in the for, for B and bananas. Now, if I run this, we'll see that um, this is a great way to test too. We've got everything working, except we don't need to say green and say yellow. Um, in fact, we're going to, I'm going to get rid of those. So if B is green, then we want goat, go to B. And then if it's yellow, so they just put that there really to help us. Our monkey is gonna go to B. Now, if you left in those little phrases, you would get two stars instead of three. Um, and the way to get rid of, the way to get to three stars would be to take the say green and say yellow out. But if you don't care, that's fine too. Spacing is going to be really important as we start to do challenges like this. 